Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. My brothers and sisters, mashallah tabarakallah. I want to share with you the importance of family and the difficulties that we face when uh, we have family members. Number one, you need to know that it is the Almighty who chose where you would be born and to whom you would be born. Mm -hmm. So your parents are chosen by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Your siblings are chosen by the Almighty. Your broader family members are chosen by the Almighty. And all that is part of the greater test that the Almighty has chosen for you. So what is important to know is there will be difficulties. There will be days of ease and happiness. There will be days of joy. And there will be days when you feel the difficulty, the hardship, the difference. You, you need to compromise a thing or two. All that is part and parcel of the plan of the Almighty. So I think when we're young little babies and as we grow a little bit older I can speak about myself for example you know we're very very close-knit with our brothers and sisters you know we had a lovely upbringing uh, the older ones cared for the younger ones and looked after them and the younger ones you know we had fun we played and so on and subhanallah as we grow older uh, our lives take us in different directions and to be able to respect that is actually a very very big uh, test from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We respect the fact that our lives take us into different directions, different ways, and we respect each other. We still love each other. We care for each other. Not everyone's going to be as pious as the other. Not everyone is going to be as knowledgeable, as wealthy, perhaps as successful, perhaps as fortunate as the other. So we still need to understand the bond. With our parents, we will definitely have differences and these differences are absolutely uh, important to understand and to know how to tackle them so every single time something happens remember to be respectful something negative happens remember to be respectful no matter what people say no matter what uh, has happened be respectful even if you disagree very strongly be respectful uh, if you're happy and so on, you don't have to swear, you don't have to use bad words, as is the norm and the culture today in a lot of places where every little thing, people say big swear words. So what we need to do is to make sure that we protect ourselves from bad words by being respectful even when we differ uh, with our own siblings, with our parents, with our brothers, and meaning with our uncles and aunts, our nephews, nieces, and even our own children. And it's important to know this because it's part and parcel of the test of the Almighty. So, as we grow, we will have differences. You know, you, you might choose something. You, later on, you have a spouse uh, and so many things happen. Sometimes the parents don't agree with who you have uh, in mind to get married to. And you know what, my beloved parents, you need to ask yourself, if what my child wants is halal, it's okay in the eyes of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, I may want to guide them if I believe that it's not the best for them. But at the end of the day, if it is okay, it is permissible. You know what, you need to look into it. Too many people are suffering because parents are not prepared to look into what their children want in terms of marriage. And like I've said, the vast majority of the Muslimin believe that it is prohibited to force your children to marry whom they don't want. And this is something that we need to know as parents. It's their choice, it's their decision at the end of the day. And for as long as what they're doing is permissible, it's halal, I think we should actually have a big heart because if we don't, we're going to be breaking families. Uh, I recall someone who told me, not just one person, but several people, that you know, I married... Uh, someone whom my parents did not really like and so my relationship with my folks is destroyed but this guy is such a good guy we've got kids and he's really a wonderful person and I have no regrets it's only that I've basically lost my relationship with my parents my beloved parents don't do that you're failing your test uh, you're failing your test you need to make sure build the relation no matter what those are your children those are your children and the same applies to the to the to the children as well those are your parents you need to make sure that you respect your parents do not disrespect them uh, I recall a case of someone not so long ago who told me that when they were born their mother tried to dump them and this is why we say when people say heaven lies at, at the feet of your mother we say yes indeed but 
it's not always the case. Remember that. Because this mother tried to uh, dump the child. This, uh, this mother tried to dump the child. Thereafter, because of the complexion of this particular child being very dark, uh, the mother actually try, uh, you know, treated the child very differently when the child did not die, so to speak. Uh, the child was beaten up every little while, you know, and uh, told to be separate from the rest of the children because of the complexion, the embarrassment. Uh, if everyone was having a party, this little child had to go into the corner. If everyone was, um, if everyone was going shopping, the child was not allowed to go with them. And if the child went with them, the child had to walk alone separately and so on. This is absolutely ridiculous. And that type of a mother needs help. That type of a mother needs guidance and needs help immediately and urgently because that is a path to hell. It's not a path to heaven. You cannot dump, number one. You cannot uh, try and kill your child, astaghfirullah. You cannot maltreat your child because of the complexion. You know, the sickest of people are those who think that uh, being handsome or beautiful is connected to the color of your skin. No. I've seen some of the most good-looking people, and they're very dark in complexion. Alhamdulillah. And I think, you know, whenever I hear someone say, oh, this person looks so good because they're fair in complexion. I mean, come on. Have you become a racist? Have, are you a person who doesn't understand the reasoning behind Allah's creation of us in different colors, different races, etc.? So remember, the worst is when a parent, himself or herself, actually uh, discriminates against his or her own child because of a complexion. Come on. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive us and grant us goodness and ease. So uh, I want to raise this point before I leave today. I don't want to extend the session uh, too long. I'm actually in the city of London. Uh, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make it easy, lovely. It's warm weather, but alhamdulillah, it's, it's a really nice uh, place. Uh, what I want to say is, within our family members, we will definitely need to sacrifice in order to make the relationship work. If you're not prepared to sacrifice, you're not going to be getting along with your sisters, with your brothers, uh, with your parents, with your nephews, nieces, your uncles, you need to sacrifice. You need to give and take sometimes. Sometimes you need to just, you know, forgive those who have wronged you because they are your family. That's why. Yes, if it's becoming oppressive and hurtful and it's becoming really nasty and ugly, you have every right to keep a distance, but respectfully. So if you disrespect one another, you're going to cause a bigger problem. You will be part of the problem. But if you maintain that, then even if you have a distance and you keep that distance and you don't interact so much with them, you will still be a blessed person earning Jannatul Firdaus and the pleasure of the Almighty. My brothers and sisters, I uh, love you all, inshallah. Uh, remember, we always promote goodness. We always promote harmony. We always promote uh, the respect of everyone. And we, no matter what faith you belong to, what sect you belong to, we respect one another, we live with one another, we fulfill each other's rights, and we understand we're all part and parcel of the children of Adam. So I leave you with those words. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless you all. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.